Welcome to Easy Lima Learning Simplified. My name is Jerry. I'm from Alpha Technical University School of Communication and I'm the lead of the course of Easy Learning Design and the introduction to the linear equation. So we're going to see what linear equations are and how to solve uh, linear equations in, in one unknown. So we have some few questions on linear, motion, uh, linear equation just to help us with illustrations on what linear equations are and how to solve problems on linear equations. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some assignment just to help you practice and just to help you check on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So what are linear equations? When you talk about linear equations, what does that mean exactly? And how do you know that this is a linear equation and this one is not? So linear equations basically are straight line equations involving one or two unknowns. And uh, in this chapter, we will deal with the, the formation and solving of, of such equations. You know, so you will only get to know that this is a linear equation when you see, when you see the, for example, you have something like x plus two is equals to three. You see, this is different from when you have something like maybe x squared plus two is equals to three. So this is nonlinear, this is linear, you see. So we may have something like that, or even x over two plus, you know, x over three plus y is equals to two. You see this one? So uh, this is completely different from when you have something like two over x, you see? plus uh, maybe three over x plus y is equals to zero. So this is nonlinear, you see. see. So usually when uh, the variables, all the variables available are raised to uh, power positive one, you know, we have like, see this one here, the power is like positive one, see? So unlike this one whereby you can write it as two x power negative one plus three x power negative one plus y is equals to zero. So these ones are nonlinear. So linear equations are characterized by that. But basically we call them their straight line equations. So you know, they are representing the relationship between the variables when there is movement along a straight line and as you as you move along a straight line for example if you talk about maybe this line is uh, is representing the relationship between x and y how is x and y varying as you move along this line along a straight line you know so just involving uh, equations which are, are uh, representing i mean the equations representing straight lines, they can be in one unknown or two unknowns. So this is a very good example of a linear equation and you want to see how can you solve such an equation. So one, you start by collecting the like terms together. So four can move to the other side. So we have three X equals to 10. But then you take four to the other side, so it becomes minus. So every time a, a, a term, like, you know, you know these are terms. We, we talked about terms, like terms, unlike terms, coefficients, and so on, you know. So when a term like this one here crosses to the other side of the equal sign, usually, the sign changes. So if it is addition, it goes to, to to subtraction to the other side. If it is maybe subtraction, it will change to addition to the other side. Multiplication, maybe it will go to division, you know, and the division maybe changes to multiplication to the other side. So the sign changes when a term crosses to the other side. So now we have then 3x equals to 6. So I, I need the value of x. So we are, we, are, we, are, we are solving for 
for x. So you divide by 3, both sides, so that x is equal to what? The 2. So this is how you, you solve for, when you, when you ask you solve you know, for x, we are trying to find the value of x in the, in the equation. So look at another one. So again, you try to collect the like terms together. So we have now x minus 4x equals to, again, these two will have to move to the other side to become positive. So you can see 4 was positive here. Last time when you were talking about integers, maybe in our previous videos, possibly if you can check out. We said usually if the number has a positive sign, it's just written without the positive sign. And again, if it's written without the positive sign, it means the sign there is positive. So that if this positive 4x crosses to the left-hand side, it becomes negative 4x. Another thing that we said about algebra is that when you are operating the algebraic terms like uh, x minus 4x, then you simply subtract the coefficient. So the coefficient of x here is 1. Usually if the coefficient is 1, you don't write. So 1 minus 4. So we'll subtract in the reverse and give it a minus sign. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So that is negative 3x. And so this is equals to what? To 2. Now again, we are trying to solve for x. We are solving for x. So to find the value of x, I will have to divide this one by negative 3. Now, any operation that is done on the left-hand side must also be done on the right-hand side. So now that I've divided left-hand side by negative 3, I must also divide right-hand side by negative 3. So negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 3 cancels out, and I have x is equals to 2 over negative 3. Now, in, in mathematics, this is not considered as the simplest form of this fraction. So the, the, the negative sign has to be, in, you have to take it to the, to the numerator, or rather you can multiply both, both numerator here and denominator by negative one, so that eventually the negative is in the numerator. That is when this is considered to be in its simplest form. So we have then, this is going to be negative, over 3. So make sure the negative is taken to the numerator. Rather, what I did, I just multiplied this by negative 1 and also multiplied this by negative 1. And uh, from our discussions on integers, when you multiply two numbers with the same signs, the answer becomes positive. That's why this is now positive 3 and the other one is now negative 2. So if you do the same thing to the numerator, like either multiplying or adding, and the same, I mean, uh, adding, I mean, multiplying or dividing, the same thing is done to the denominator. That doesn't change the number. So it's, it's, this number here is still the same as what we had up there, 2 over uh, negative 3. It's the same thing. And that now we are now making the negative to be in the, in the numerator. Again, here we have x plus x, so we start by adding the 2, which is going to be 2x plus 1 is equals to 11. So 2x is equals to 11 minus 1, the 2x is equals to, to 10. So again, we, you have just to divide both sides by what? By 2. So 2 cancels 2, and then you have x is equals to, to 5 x is equals to 5. So it's very simple, collecting the like terms together. So I took this one to the other side so that I have the numbers not containing the variables to be on the left, to be on the, the right-hand side, and the ones containing the variable actually. Usually as you, you, you solve for unknowns in a given equation, you try and make the variable to be the ones on the left-hand side of the equation. Okay, so again here, you simply add, I mean, so 
collecting the like terms, but again, applying the rule of board mass that I'll do. So when you apply board mass, remember board mass also apply to uh, applies to al algebraic expressions when you're simplifying algebraic expressions, solving for nouns. So board mass. So bracket or, or order division multiplication. So addition comes before. So I'll do the addition. So 6x has a plus sign before it, and plus 2x also has a plus sign before it. And then I'll do minus 2x. So this is equals to 12. And then now 6x plus 2x, this is 8x. Then minus 2x is equals to 12 again. So 8x minus 2x, that is 6x, and that is 12. So again, you divide both sides by 6, by 6. So x is equals to So it's not hard, it's very simple. As long as you are following the procedures step by step. So we have our, our last one here, which involves about, first of all, you have to remove the brackets. Uh, in our previous uh, slides or the videos that we have done in the past, one of our, our lessons, was on removal of brackets, you know. So possibly if you didn't get that, you can possibly check out on that and you'll be able to see how we did that. But basically this one just, you know, there's nothing before this bracket. So maybe one, so one by X. So one by x that is uh, x, and one by three. So what we had, what we uh, mentioned previous, previously when we were doing this, we said that the number outside the bracket multiplies all the numbers inside the bracket. And again, we said that whenever there is a minus sign before a bracket, the sign inside the bracket must change once the brackets are removed. So you know, as you remove the brackets, once all the brackets are removed, the number here will have eventually change to plus. So if it is plus, it goes to minus. If it is minus, it goes to plus. And then, of course, these two will multiply both numbers inside the, the bracket. So 2 by x is, so this is minus 2x, but this one changes to plus. Or minus 2 minus 4, that is plus 8. So this is equals to 24. Again, just what we did in the previous example, we simply collect the like terms together. So x minus 2x plus 3 plus 8 is equals to 24. So this is minus x. Plus 11 is equals to 24. So minus x, 11 will cross to the other side. And as you have said, if it crosses, the sign here will change to minus. So 24 minus 11. So minus x equals to 13. So here you can multiply both sides by negative one so that the negative sign goes. Because what I'm looking for is x, not negative x. And of course now negative one by negative one is positive one. And usually if the coefficient is positive, is positive one, you don't write. So I'll just write x. That is the side now becomes negative, negative 13. So that is all. You have a few questions here to help you practice on what you've been discussing during this, during this lesson. You can always attempt when done. You can always be posting your feedback on the comment section. We will be able to look at them. And that is all for now. Until next time, goodbye.